John Black Super Chemist. We're here to make some methyl benzene, most commonly known as toluene. I have some toluic acid here, about 16, 15 grams. We've got calcium oxide here. I don't know if you can see it. That's about uh, 16 grams. And then I got 22 grams of sodium hydroxide. I'm just going to put them in this bag and uh, mix it up a little bit. I'm not going to crush it. I mean, you should probably put this in a, uh, you know, uh, met mortar and pestle and, uh, you know, grind it all up. My way of thinking is this. <clears throat> this uh, sodium hydroxide is probably 10% water, right? It's probably the monohydrate. <clears throat> um, when I heat it, it's going to melt, okay? Even if it isn't, sodium hydroxide will probably melt before the decarboxylation even occurs, right? So, if everything's wet, who cares if it's smashed up? I got it all put together nice and uniform. You can see, see how it's... Yeah. Now, that was crude... Uh, Now I put it into here, into this can. You see the can on the top. I took the thing off or whatever the notch that was on there, the lip. And you can see I just have an elbow. I mean, you can have any glass joint or whatever. And I put some Teflon tape, plumber's tape, on there. See that white part? And I'm just going to screw this in. I made sure that the tape was a lot bigger than the hole. I screw it just like a, you'd screw a screw into a whatever. Try to keep it nice and straight. And then I'm going to hope to God that that worked. Alright, here's my setup. Just some basic distillation coming out of the can. Let's hope this don't blow up. You do need a lot of heat though. Oh, shit. oh, see it coming over? Oh, crap. Yeah, that's too fast. Try to keep it down so that uh, I can just distill it instead of it coming over too fast. You can see, I put some I put an ice bath on that. You can see that dark line in there. That's what the crap is. It's starting to drip. See? Drip. Drip. Drip.
uh, we're just going to keep distilling this until it's done distilling or it blows up. <laughs> You can see I got some more stuff, watch. But I'm starting to get scared this is going to get a leak and blow up or something. I mean, not blow up, but catch on fire. <laughs> Even though I know I'm going to get a terrible yield because of this, I, I, I'm just getting too scared. I'm too old. This is a terrible tin can. I mean, it's not like it's made for this. Uh, that's my yield. I got that's a 25 milliliter thingy, so I'm going to guess that's like 10 milliliters. Well, I don't feel like I have enough liquid to. Uh, Put a Vigor X column in there. I mean, now I got like 10 milliliters. Um, so I'm just going to do a simple, simple distillation and we'll see what we get. It definitely does smell like uh, toluene, although it smells like benzene also. So uh, it's finally hitting the bulb on the thermometer and um, it's not coming over yet. But it's jacked the temperature up to 85 right now. It went right past 80 and nothing came over. So, oh, yeah, they, there is stuff coming over. Just a little bit. So there is some benzene in there. I don't even see it. Okay. See how it moves. So there is some benzene in there. Oh, it's up to 90 degrees now. So there must not be that much. Um, yeah, because it just keeps jacking up. So I'll get back to you. Hopefully it'll go straight up to 110 or 11. I'm hoping. Uh, I changed the flask out at uh, 105 Celsius. You can see this is a 100 milliliter flask. I mean, what do I got in there, like, three milliliters or something? So that's most likely benzene and water. What's coming over right now, that's probably water and toluene. Okay, the benzene's probably out of there by now. Um, so we'll just distill that from 105 to as much as we can. There's not much there to whatever, so... Well, that's the end of the distillation. That's a 25 milliliter flask. Uh, so, I'm guessing that's probably like 3 milliliters. Um, terrible yield. We're going to have to put some magnesium sulfate in there and dry that up. You can see how milky it is. So, I got some Epsom salt to dry it up. You can see it's milky. I'll throw that in. Shake it around. Should clear it up. Yeah, definitely cleared it up. I only took a second. You can't tell on camera. But, hmm. I don't know if we could. You can't really tell because the light's going off the round bottom thing, but it is totally totally clear now so you can see it's totally clear crystal clear although there's only two milliliters there it definitely smells like toluene it smelled a little bit like benzene before I put the magnesium sulfate in there to dry it up uh, but now I can't even smell the benzene well, maybe a little bit um, so it is mostly toluene. There is some benzene in there, though. Um, since benzene is pretty unreactive, you probably, unless you're adding something to a ring, you can just leave that in there. It won't react, most likely, with most most reactions. 
that's what I left in the pot. There's a couple boiling stones in there. But you can see I can't, you know, there might have been a little bit more in there, but I can't break my glass. All right, so let's see what we got here. Here's our equation, right? Here's our molar masses, right? I used a tenth of a mole here, all right? Although I did add in a little bit more, I think I, because I just added in whatever I had. I think I had 16 grams. Um, but I figured it wasn't pure anyway. You saw it was yellow, you know what I mean? It wasn't uh, pure. So let's just say I used a tenth of a gram. I was going to use two tenths of a gram here and two tenths of a gram here. I wanted to double what I had, right? I don't want to have exact ratios and, you know, I want excess of this stuff so it actually reacts with this. Um, so that came out to here, 8 grams. I should have used 9 or that was the plan because 1 gram of it was probably water, right, that it soaked up. Uh, 2 tenths of this would be 11.2 grams. Now, I used... What did I use? Let me look here. I used 16 grams here, which is 7 grams extra. And I used, no, I used 16 grams here, which is 5 grams extra. And here I used 22 grams, which is like double. Uh, the reason why is because it can't hurt to put excess in, you know what I mean? And the amount I had of this compared to the other thing didn't seem like it was enough, you know what I mean, like to cover all of the uh, toluic acid. So I, whatever dumped on the scale, dumped on the scale, and that's what I used, okay? Now, if I used 10% of a mole here, my yield should be 10% of a mole here for my toluene. Here's the molar mass, here's the density, divide them to get the molar volume. And uh, one tenth of that is 10.6. That's my theoretical yield. I should get 10.6 milliliters. I got 2.4 milliliters. Okay, so I divide 2.4 divided by 10.6. I get 0.23. That's 23 percent. So I got a 23 percent yield. Now that is a terrible yield for this type of reaction. But keep in mind, I had such a small amount that. It, when you do small amounts, you're going to lose, you know what I mean? Put it this way, if you have a liter or something and you're making it, and you lose a milliliter, are you even going to notice that milliliter? No. But if you're trying to make 10 milliliters, and you, you lose a, a milliliter, it's going to show up. You're going to, that's a tenth of your product right there, you know what I'm saying? I should have got at least a 70% yield on this. Uh, and another thing is, is, the toluic acid wasn't pure. I didn't uh, recrystallize it to see exactly how pure it was. Uh, next time, maybe I'll do that. I'll recrystallize it and do this with recrystallized stuff. I just had so little, and uh, the toluic acid I had, half of it I dropped on the floor. So I think I had like 25 grams or something. I dropped it on the floor, and I ended up picking up 16 grams, I guess. Uh, but this does prove that that last the five part video I did on how to make toluic acid it does work keep in mind that's the first time I ever heard of that reaction somebody told me about it so it's not like uh, you know you, you practice with the reaction you're gonna get better you know what I mean because these are terrible yields I admit but for the first time I'm doing them you know what I mean it isn't bad I mean this one here it all has to do with this the toluic acid wasn't that great and the fact that I was doing such a small amount I mean like the round bottom flask over here I don't know if that's on camera or not I can't see the screen but there, I mean there could be some in there too another milliliter you know what I mean but anyways uh, it's good science whether it was a good yield or not I, I'm very happy that it turned out that I got a 23 percent yield seriously uh, I wasn't even expecting that. I was thinking like 10% or something. Um, so I'm happy I got that. And next time, hopefully I'll, I'll do a lot better. Anyways, you all remember, science is great, and you have a great day.